Hey everyone, today we're going to use Marker Remap to fix some timing issues in an existing project. I'm just going to play this small segment to show you what I mean, and just pay attention to the voiceover and when the elements come in. And because of this, we ended up actually having to create our own pop-up clinic, more or less, and we hired 14 physicians to provide preventative healthcare services to black men. Once in our clinic, we randomly assigned the men to either having a black male physician or a not. So there's just a couple of things that are off. For example, we want the 14 doctors to come in when she says 14 physicians. We hire 14 physicians. And then we want the black men to come in when black she men. says black men. Assigned and the men to either having we want the random concept to come in when uh, the hand pulls up the house. So seems easy enough, but to compound this issue, this isn't my file. I've inherited this project from a fellow artist overseas who isn't currently available to make the changes and I need to make them today. And when I drill down into the comp and I just kind of open up these keyframes, it's gonna maybe take a while for me to decipher what someone else has done. And I'm not super excited about shifting things around, trying to line it up, experimenting, seeing where they where it lines up with the voiceover etc i might miss something so easily this is a job where manually moving around keyframes is not only going to be a lot of work but i might miss something and change something that i shouldn't be changing so this is where marker remap is really going to help us the first thing i want to do is identify the discrete actions that this animation has so clearly there's this building coming in and that's the end of one action. Now I can use the add marker button from the marker remap panel to add a marker, but I'm going to use the add marker fit to last script that comes with marker remap. Once you put it into your scripts folder, make sure you restart After Effects. I use this one all the time and I've attached it to one of my function keys. So in my case, it's F6. If you don't know how to do that, once you've restarted After Effects, just uh, search for add marker and you'll see it here fit to last. You can double click in the shortcut area and just tap and assign uh, your preferred shortcut. So I'm gonna hit F6, and this is kind of like a reverse uh, marker inserter. So what it's gonna do is gonna insert the marker with the out point at my current time. So I'll call this section building, and as you can see, it's placed the out point at my current time, and it's gone backwards to either the beginning of the comp or a previous marker. So now we want to identify the next segment here, and the next segment basically starts around there. I'm gonna go ahead and just see, yep, looks like there's a keyframe right there where that's starting to move. Now the other nice thing about this script is I can use the comps work area to kind of do a temporary placeholder of where I want my next marker to start. So I'm gonna hit the letter B to set the work area. And I'm just gonna scoot forward and kind of see where this next piece of action takes place. And it looks like it's uh, it's kind of like the building coming in and the doctors popping in there. And it looks like it ends right there. So again, I'm hitting F6 and we'll call this doctors. And we're gonna add a flag to it. So it says marker will end at the current time and begin after the last marker if no flags have been specified. And we're gonna use this third flag left bracket places in point at work area start. So I'm gonna say doctors, left bracket. There we go. We have a nice uh, easy marker where the out point is where our current timeline is and it starts at the work area in point. So I'm gonna keep moving forward here, identify the next motion. So this is where our men come in and hit B and it looks like it ends there. F6, men, bracket. Here's our new one, B. This is where the pop-up clinic comes up. Looks like it's the end of, let's see, where's that? It looks like that's where that keyframe is there. F6, call this uh, pop-up. And then one last motion here. Let's see, it looks like that's starting here. Now this artist is um, also using marker remap as well, so um, that's helpful for me too to kind of just move this stuff around. It looks like that's the end of the sequence there. All right, F6, and we'll call this, uh, I don't know, together. Looks like they come together there. Great, so I've identified all these discrete 
pieces of action in this comp now. Now I can go back to my main comp and uh, simply extract all markers. And what extract all markers does is it extracts all the markers and then automatically applies marker remap to the time remap property there. All right, so nothing will have changed. All the timing is the same. Uh, but now that I have markers I can move around, I could just easily slide these moments to now match the audio. So let's do that now. And because of this, we ended up actually having to create our own pop-up clinic, more or less. Okay. More or less. And we hired... So let's move this over. Pop-up clinic, more or less. And we hired 14 physicians to provide... All right, let's pull that back so that... 14 physicians... And because of this, we ended up actually having to create our own pop-up clinic, more or less. And we hired 14 physicians to provide preventative health care services to black men. Once in our clinic, we randomly assigned the men to either having a black male physician or a non-black male physician. And there you go. I didn't lose any valuable information. And I also didn't have to decipher somebody else's keyframes or workflow or the way they built the project. Most importantly, it was quick and I'm able to respond to the client's feedback immediately. All right, I hope that was helpful. Make sure to check out the other marker remap tutorials and best wishes on your projects.